Here's a fun news story for you. Back in late October, police in Ontario, just a little north of Toronto, just a wee bit north of Toronto, raided this illegal marijuana grow operation. And they found over $150 million worth of weed. Nice. A whole bunch of guns, some crossbows, and several zebras and kangaroos. Finally, a drug dealer with some good taste. And wait, crossbows and kangaroos? I'm so confused. Are we in Australia or the Middle Ages? Or both? Am I about to see Crocodile Dundee walking around with some chain mail? Good day, mate. I got the plague. Sorry, Paul Hogan. Guns make sense when you're selling illegal things, like you need protection in case somebody tries to come and rob you. But I don't understand the use of crossbows. Never has anyone thought, oh, I need some protection. Let me grab something that was invented in 650 BC. You know, I really want to protect my illegal weed, but I don't really feel like it's fair to gun down people with high caliber weaponry. I feel like there really needs to be some more sport in it. Now enough with the crossbows, on to the part we're really interested about. The zebras and kangaroos. There were three kangaroos and two zebras, in case you were wondering. Now, sadly, from the information that I have found, there is no evidence to suggest that they were using the kangaroos' pouches to move drugs, as I had so desperately hoped was the case. It's kind of sad on my part that my first thought was, oh, they found all these kangaroos, they must be using the pouches to somehow hide the weed or deliver them like an Amazon kangaroo drone. But no, no, they're just for decoration. Like somebody wouldn't see that and go, why is there a kangaroo in Canada? (laughs) The huge bummer was, as I read this article, I realized, oh, this would have been such a better storyline for Kangaroo Jack, which is probably the biggest disappointment of my childhood. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Love the jacket, Charlie. I wanted so bad for that movie to have a talking kangaroo that I watched it over and over and over again with the hopes that this time somehow the kangaroo would talk more, but that was never the case. No, he only spoke for three minutes total in a hallucination scene. Nice. Well, there's some weird news for you. If you don't mind subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.